Good morning and welcome to another edition of A Closer Look. I'm your host, Linda Fontaine. Today, I have the privilege of interviewing Christina Humphreys, author of several books. Good morning, Christina. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, this is your first book, Sin. Um, tell me, what brought you into writing this book? What was the inspiration? Well, uh, my first book, uh, Sin, it's, it's actually my testimony of my life. Uh, I, there's a lot of confession in it, and then I talk about how God had delivered me from addiction. I was in addiction for about 12 years. I was addicted to probably anything you could talk about. Mm. Um, uh, very trying times. Uh, but. I ended up going to a rehab facility in Knoxville, Tennessee uh, named Serenity. And so while I was there, uh, I ended up getting saved. I went to church, you know, because it was a discipleship program, you know, it was something I needed. But um, after I got saved, I was out for a jog one day mm -hmm. and I had just been kind of searching for my calling in the Lord and I wanted to know what plan God had for me. I mean, He had spared my life so many times throughout my addiction, suicide attempts. Mm. Um, I mean, it was a really rough time and, and I knew that he had to have a plan for me. I just didn't know what it was. And I wanted to be a witness uh, because we're called to be witnesses. And so I was praying while I was jogging and I'm, I'm thinking, you know, Lord, what, what is my calling? What would you have me do? And I, you know, I, I would like to be a writer. And it was, it was like I just heard the Lord while I was running and He's like, I have made you a writer, write. And I was so overcome with emotion, I cried. I mean, I'm crying and running and, and I had to stop and breathe and run some more and uh -huh. cry some more. <laughs> and so um, I thought, you know, what, what should I write about? And I prayed about it. And, uh, and my first book, Through Prayer, I discovered that uh, it was to be about my testimony, about my addiction, not just about the things that I suffered, but the, the sin that I had committed myself so that others wouldn't feel so alone, that there is forgiveness in Christ. And that's why I was led to write it in, in that fashion and in that form to have well, confession. How long did it take you to write it? Were you in rehab that whole time? I was, and we weren't allowed to have uh, computers there, you know, at the time. And so I started writing it by hand, and it's a 400 page book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but I had a lot of time on my hands. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, how long? It probably took me about five or six months. I know I finished the book on Christmas Day. Oh, wow. It was so amazing. That it is amazing. Amazing. And through writing the book, I was in constant prayer because I was getting delivered as I was writing the book. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord would speak to me on, on things that I'd been through, things I'd done, offering forgiveness, healing words, getting to the root of the issue of the addiction in the first place which was a lot of trauma in the past. Were you always a believer or, or was this something new when you were in Serenity? I had went to church a couple times. I wasn't raised in church and so I'd heard, I'd heard the gospel and that Jesus was the Savior and I'd even confessed Jesus as the Lord, but did I serve God? No. Um, I confessed Jesus as Lord, went back out into addiction um, and I always knew there was a God. Now there were times in my life where even after watching God move mountains for me, that I wondered, is there really a God? Mm -hmm. And every time he would prove it. Wow. And even through, right before I had attempted suicide by jumping out mm -hmm. of a moving vehicle, oh I my asked, gosh. I said, God, if you're even real at this point, you know, forgive me, but I, I was done. I'd hurt my family so bad mm -hmm. and I didn't see a way out and I was, I was, I was done hurting them and, and I was done living that life. I didn't realize that all I had to do mm -hmm. was die to self by turning to Christ. Wow. <laughs> so, so writing this book was like uh, saving grace for you. Yes. It was cathartic, as they say, writing it, getting it out, realizing it's like a purge. You got it out yes. and then you realized, I'm going to make this a book so that it maybe help others. Yes, I know that when I was writing the book, I didn't even know if it would be published. I just know the Lord had called me to write, and mm -hmm. so that's what I did. And then after the book was written, I said, now can we publish it, Lord? <laughs> <laughs> I, hadn't, I didn't know anything about mm -hmm. publishing or even about writing at that time. I was just listening to the Holy Spirit, kind of trying to be led by God and what to do. And 
Wow, I can't wait to read it now. You've written several books since this, and it seems yes. like you're putting them out pretty quickly. So the Lord's speaking through you quite frequently. <laughs> yes, and through everyday life, everyday, everyday, life. everyday struggle. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that had to be overcome. We can do all things to Christ who mm -hmm. strengthens us. You know, I was on probation. I had faced 13 years in prison, but I ended up getting probation. Mm -hmm. um, so I came home and uh, I had to get a job. Uh, there was just a lot of obstacles to overcome because being delivered from addiction is only part of it. Then you have to continue walking with God. And so through those trials, I was able to write other books uh, just from the trials, trying to be that new creation in Christ. And mm -hmm. so a lot of my encouraging words from the Holy Spirit were through my own trials. Now, how long ago did all this happen? Let's see, I have been, in, in June, I've been sober four years, so that's when I first went to the rehab Okay, so facility. just in a matter of four years, all this yes. has happened? Mm -hmm. Now, I got home probably about two and a half years ago, and that's when we began the publishing process, mm. which that was a move of God. I had to pray about even what to do to publish, and they wanted uh, like three or $4,000. Well, I told them, I, I don't have it. I just know I'm called to write and to publish this. Uh, my mother and some other people uh, with us began raising money to have the book published. Publisher mm -hmm. called me back and said, listen, we just need $700. We want to wow. get the book out. And so it happened. That's amazing. Yes. You've had several miracles from what it sounds like happening many, to you. Many miracles. Mm -hmm. So how has this affected your family and your children? And Oh, wow. Um, it's brought us closer, I just, uh, it's brought us closer in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, we go to church together and uh, it's caused such a difference. I, I had lost my children actually, lost mm -hmm. custody, but I've got custody of all three of my children now. They live with me. They're in the Lord. I mean, they're, they've changed. Mm -hmm. All of us have changed. That's beautiful. Yes. That is beautiful. Now, do you have another book in the works right now? I do. I have a book, and actually, that leads me to tell you about the publishing that we do now. Oh, um, yeah, tell me about that. Because my first book, it was through Tate Publishing, but mm -hmm. then I had so much to write, and I couldn't afford to keep paying a publisher, so I began praying, and the, the Lord led me to do a publishing um, ministry, hmm. and so people just came into my path. We have an editor, Jan Ellis. We have an illustrator, J.J. Cox. Um, I do the cover design, and the interior format. It's just all of those talents came together. Wow. It, it's, yeah, it, it was amazing. And so my other books are published by us, Surefire Ministry. Surefire Ministry. Mm -hmm. So it's Christian books. It is. Okay. It is to heal, build, and equip the body of Christ and to, to deliver the captives, to set them free. And gosh, and this has all happened so fast. It when has. did you start Surefire Ministry? It's been in the works for about two years, okay. but we just launched our first um, publishing, I guess, campaign mm -hmm. uh, a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So we had this event at the library. We had an author fair because we have a couple authors that we've published already besides myself. And so uh, we launched that event to have anyone aspiring to be an author so they could come out talk to us about mm -hmm. the publishing process. Well, how is it that you guys can make it more affordable for people to publish or easier for people to publish than the regular publishing circles that you tried to go through before? Right, well, um, the other publishing companies, I mean, they're a company, they're not a ministry, and so mm -hmm. you end up paying a lot just for an editor. Okay. The editor that we have, uh, Jan Ellis, she doesn't charge that, she does it for ministry work. Okay, well, that makes and so, a big difference. Yeah, we have a lot of people that pitch in that just help out. That's wonderful. It Does is. Surefire Ministry do anything else besides publishing or is that the We do, actually. We have a Books for the Broken program. And so what that is, we raise money uh, to get books like this, um, like mm -hmm. Roots, because Roots gets to the root of an issue mm -hmm. uh, through Christ, breaking down strongholds. We take those books that we buy and we get them into the jails, into the rehab facilities, into the shelters uh, around this area. And so we're taking back our community. Well, doesn't that, that cost a lot just to give away all these books? Well, um, honestly, I get them cheaper because I'm the author of those. And then oh. the other authors that participate in Books for the Broken, they let them go for a cheaper rate than oh, they nice. would to the public. And um, so we raise the money to buy the books 
and so it's it's not as expensive as you would think. Are they doing well? Are they doing as well as you expected or better? Or how, how's how's Sin doing? It's actually done pretty decent. It, now it, it doesn't work like a lot of people think. Okay. I'm an author. I'm rich. I've made all this money. Right. It doesn't work. Well, you're like doing that. a lot of it for as a ministry to help. Yes, and so it's it's done excellent. We've had testimonies from the prisons. People will write us letters talking about how it's changed their life and inspired them that they too can make it through Christ, that they can change, that hope's not lost, and that that's what we want to do. That's beautiful. Yes. That's beautiful. I know your mom's proud of you. Now, I know your mom from <laughs> yeah. years back. She works at the hospital, mm -hmm. and she is so inspirational. On Facebook, we're friends, and she would put the most inspirational quotes up there. And one day I just said, thank you for putting these up there. They mean so much to me. Mm -hmm. So you guys have grown together in this yes. path, it looks like. Yes, we have. Uh, me and my mother were best friends. She's She's been there with me through it all. If I hadn't had a praying mother, I never would have, I wouldn't be here today. God bless mamas. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I don't know what I do without <laughs> mine either. Oh, they're angels. And of course, I'm a mama and your mama too. So That's let's right. hope we can do yeah. <laughs> have as good as our mamas did. Well. I am really impressed with what you've done, Christina, and I'm so proud of you as well. And we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and talk some more about your journey and your books and maybe bring somebody else in that has been doing some of the illustrations. Okay. Okay. We'll be good. right back in just a minute with more of A Closer Look. Welcome back to A Closer Look. And if you're just joining us, I am talking with Christina Humphreys, author of several inspiring and incredible books you're going to want to check out. Christina, thank you again for joining us. Thank you. Tell me about the books. Okay, the book that you're holding there, that is Sin. That's my first book and it's my testimony mm -hmm. of uh, 12 years of addiction and how the Lord delivered me and brought me out of that addiction. It, and actually, I, I talk all the way up until the point of having written the book and when it was time to publish it. Mm -hmm. I talk about confession in the book, mm -hmm. the things that I'd been through and the things that I'd done to let everyone else know they're not alone and that they're forgiven through Christ and that they can be a new creation and start over. And so that's the first book. So that sounds like a book that it makes people feel like they're not alone. You yes. can be strong, believe, and anything can happen. We're all there. We've all been through trials and tribulations. Yes. Okay. Now, what else do you have? Now, uh, the book that you see here, this purple book right yes. here, The Rising Warrior, that's my newest book that I just written. If anyone follows me on Facebook, then they see the inspirational kind of theme there. Uh, through trials that I'd been through myself since being home from the rehabilitation, mm -hmm. uh, God would give me encouraging words to spread to others about being a new creation in Christ, mm -hmm. uh, using the Word of God to tear down strongholds. And so it's a devotional that does just that. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. that sounds really nice. I like that. I'm going to have to check that out. I like devotional type books. And you've got more to come here. Yes, and so then we have also have Roots. This is Roots right here. Oh, okay. Um, and so Roots, I wrote that just a couple years ago during the summer, and the Lord was leading me through a time where there was still some deep-rooted issues in my life. There were some strongholds uh, that were kind of holding me back. And so I would get into the Word of God and things would begin to surface in my life and I would write it down. Mm -hmm. And I wrote a devotional during that time along with a workbook. The workbook is included in it. So oh. it's a very interactive kind of devotional to get to the root of your issue. If you're going through depression, worry, anxiety, uh, feelings of worthlessness, that book targets those issues, those strongholds, and kind of mm -hmm. lets you come before the Lord in prayer to let Him search you, to deliver you, and by the Word of God to transform you and your way of thinking. So these books sound to me like your journey you know, starting off with your testimony, then yes. how you've progressed and now doing the work. And I like this. I like how we go through this journey with you and how what worked for you and how it will, will work for others. Yes. Yes. And that's the goal. Good, good. And what else do we have here? 
And we also have Divine Destiny. Mm -hmm. And so Divine Destiny, actually, it was my second book, and it's a different kind of genre. It's a fantasy fiction book. Oh, really? Okay. And so it's kind of young adult. And so it, that's my favorite kind of books to read. Mm -hmm. I, you know, they're, they're fun for me. It's not what I write most of the time, but it's actually a dream that I'd had. And it's about these three children. They go on what they think is a make-believe adventure. Mm -hmm. And it ends up being literally a divine destiny for them. And it turns out to be more real than anything that they could have imagined. And throughout the book, there are mm -hmm. footnotes that refer to Scripture to show you that you have a divine destiny in Christ that we all do. So it's, it's a fun kind of fantasy book that also relates to Scripture to show you here's truth. I like that. Boy, you have really opened up as a writer. Yes. Yes, going well, from these testimonies to now fantasy. And do you have any more in the works? I do. Right now I'm working on a book. Um, we have it. We're praying on a name for the book right now. It's a children's book. Okay. And actually my mother wrote wow. it. Carla Humphreys. Really? Yes. And Aww. so we have, we took on an illustrator, J.J. Cox. Yes. Here recently. And he does just fabulous work, anointed work. And this here, do you want to hold that up and show? That is, okay, sure. that is just one picture uh, from the children's book that we have. It's actually about conquering anger. That is very good. And it is, it is. It helps uh, children to be able to use the Word of God to overcome strongholds, learning how to deal with their anger. So you've gone from teens to children, adults. You're hitting everybody with this good Word, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I'm impressed. Hey, you have found your calling. Yes, I believe I have. And I like that you're getting out and spreading the Word. So do you do a lot of speak, I don't know, talking to different ministries? Do you go out and spread the word through just lectures and testimonies? I do. I've given my testimony quite a few times. Um, just last night, actually, I gave my testimony at my own church. And so it was an amazing time. But uh, yeah. A few tears? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's beautiful when people reach deep and they share with people that are close to them in their church and you know you're helping others and cleansing your soul. I mm -hmm. think that's beautiful. And I also have an event coming up in March. Oh, tell me about that. Um, that's all I know. It's, it's March 7th. <laughs> I, I have, have an event in March. Name. Don't know what I'm going to do yet, yeah. but it's going to be awesome. Well, it'll be on the website <laughs> actually. So surefireministry.com. So it'll be on the website. Surefireministry.com and it'll be an event where you'll probably be talking and reaching out to those and yes. maybe having some vendors or something like that where people can come and buy books and right. maybe have some other Christian um, authors there. Yes, we'll do it. We'll be doing another uh, author fair and book signing event where we'll, we'll have all of our authors from Surefire Ministry will mm -hmm. be there and we'll be doing book signings. All of that will be listed on the website as soon as the dates are in concrete. Well, how did you have. find this awesome illustrator? I met JJ um, at an Eddie James concert. <laughs> okay. And uh, he asked Good. me on a date and we began dating. I actually, oh, I've known him since high school, but we met oh. again, you know, after uh, I came home from rehab. So we have been dating about two years. Oh, that's nice. Yes. And so his talent and your talents Perfect. Yes. It was meant to be. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe that's awesome. This is really good. Has he has he illustrated other things? He has done some work on murals for churches. Oh, okay. So he's he's done a lot of artwork. Oh, that's impressive. We'll have to check mm -hmm. him out. Does he have a website or anything that we can check out? He has him out a on? Facebook page, JJ's Murals. JJ's is it just two letter JJ? It's J.J. Cox Murals. J.J. Cox Murals. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Well, I'm impressed by these books. Which is the first one I should read? Oh. Or do I need to go in order, <laughs> or does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter if you go in order? It doesn't matter, but okay. I would read Sin first and Roots second. Okay. Especially if I had any kind of bondage. Uh -huh. That's the, the route I would go. I think everybody really does. It's whether or not we want to face it or not that makes the difference. Yep. Don't you think? Yes. Because I know I have some that I probably yes. could <laughs> release. Yes. Um, could you do Roots as like a book club or is it more personal, the writing? It's 
actually it is perfect and meant for a group of three or four. Mm -hmm. You can do it alone and you can do it in larger groups, but it is a very personal book. And so a group of three or four would be the most I would do, but, but would I would work. do a group. Yeah, but yes. it sounds like it'd be something good for like a book club or yes, because I mean it's personal, but it's sometimes nice to be able to say, do you, do you ever feel this way to yes. someone and get that feedback? Exactly, and it's tailored for that for a group, oh, a okay. small group. Okay, that's great. Okay, that's very good. So, what else do you like to tell us about your journey? Um, about the publishing industry, uh, we've gotten into that. I just want to tell you about a couple books that we've done so okay, far. Okay, good. I'd love to hear that. And so uh, we have, and the book that you see up there, You Better Mind Me by Wesley Ward. We did his editorial work. That book is amazing. I tell you, uh, it's it's just a really good book. So working on it, I kind of got some deliverance oh, in really? that. Oh, really? Yes. And then uh, we also have done The Penny Jar mm -hmm. by Laura Patrick. Okay. And so that's just to name a couple books that we've done through the ministry. That's incredible. Thank so you. how can people get a hold of you if they have a book idea or they want to maybe be part of the ministry? Um, they can either get a hold of us through the surefireministry.com website mm -hmm. or we have a Facebook page and it's Surefire Publishing. And so they can do that, contact me through Facebook, mm -hmm. different ways. Well, we need to become Facebook friends. Well, let's do that. <laughs> we can. Oh, we also have an email, surefireministry at yahoo.com. Okay, that sounds great. Well, I'm friend really me on Facebook. <laughs> friend you on Facebook, get all this information. We're going to have to have you back on here. We're, I'm sure going to be writing more books. We'll have to have you and your mom on when she gets oh, her children's awesome. book. Yes, yes. Published. I like that. So JJ is going to do the illustrations for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so proud and of And it Carla. should be done probably in about four months. In about four months? Mm -hmm. I bet once she does that one, she's going to be pumping out more. I think so. I think it probably runs in the <laughs> <I think> family. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I'm so happy that you came here today. Thank you. I it was really good getting to know you. I mean, I felt like I knew you a little bit already, just being friends with your mom yeah. and seeing, following a little bit of your journey on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember when she said, she's got a book published. I was like, wow, that's incredible. That wow. is awesome. But I didn't know your whole journey. And that makes it even more inspirational. Yes. It, it makes it makes you approachable. A lot of times people see someone with writing a book and they're like, oh, wow, you know, they're, I don't, I don't have anything in common with them. You know, they've got this great imagination and gift. But when you talk about how it just spilled through you and it's a gift and you're so approachable, it makes people think, I want to read this and, and become strong like she is. And so. it's real life. It's real life. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Christina. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for a closer look. I hope you join us again next Sunday for more.